Today we have an accurate electronic layout of the installation. The height of the model is approximately 7 meters and 75 millimeters without additional adjustment devices. The volume is 208 liters, by rough calculation. Great, good. The installation consists of several parts. It is assembled from two meter pipes onto flanges. The flanges are sealed with rubber. Let's start with the fact that we have a shuttle inside the installation. It travels vertically up and down the installation. Floats in the water. The shuttle consists of several main elements. Air chamber together with power transmission unit and valves. The block looks like this. Valves installed. Fittings installed. Electrical connector installed. An air chamber is installed on this block with windows for air intake and tubes inside through which water flows to the generator set. The generator set consists of several cassettes. There are four cassettes in total in the generator set. The cassette consists of one generator consisting of two stators and one rotor. Our generator cassette consists of copper windings, a diode bridge and a rotor in which we have magnets installed in a circle and a blade that rotates from the flow of water. Yes. It's all put together as follows. The screw rotates on a shaft made of polyamide, under a key, under locking rings. This whole structure is held together like this. Next, we have a rotor slightly smaller in diameter than the stator. In order to be able to pass guidelines inside the structure, which will not allow the shuttle to rotate around its axis while moving. That is, it is a counter-torque guide. This means we have four guides per cassette. And on the one hand, so that the wires do not fall into the wet area, we make holes from one stator to the other and lay the wire. Two wires from diode bridge to diode bridge. And so this design is assembled one by one. Fits in the space between the coil and the wall, right? It fit, yes. Our rotor is rotating, our wires are here. Yes, he can catch them a little, but he won't tear them or scratch them, because there's nothing to catch on. What size is this hole? The hole is 4 millimeters. There is a reserve there. Quite, yes. Through the generator we have a through channel, a pipe through which water flows, and successively stages of generators with blades. By design, this area is completely isolated, that is, the water flows through the center and does not spill out anywhere. There are special adapters between the generator cassettes so that all this does not spill anywhere. The next part of the structure is the tail section. It consists of a small air pocket in which you can put an additional weight if the shuttle is too light. Weight adjustment. Next, we have a guideline running through this place. It goes through the air pocket and comes out. Here we come into contact with water. And to prevent water from filling this air pocket, there are simply rubber tubes, silicone, polyurethane, whatever. The tubes are small. They will be glued here and here, just so that the water fills this prepared channel, small, narrow, and not this air pocket. A cutout is made inside the nozzle apparatus, a 120 steel pipe, 4 millimeters, is installed there, you just need a metal part to which you can be magnetic. The shuttle can be held by a magnet as it is lowered by the flange. We have a flange here, a fishing line is tied to it, and here there are these screws for a press washer. Under this cover we have a flange and magnets are placed inside. Unusual magnets, certified magnets. Their pull-out force is 10 kilograms, that is, it will not be some kind of incomprehensible magnet. Take this one, it will give out exactly 10 kilograms per lift. You can put several of them, the grooves are made for this, 
five pieces, 50 kilograms, I think, is more than enough for such a shuttle. The magnet is 55 by 8 and 8 millimeters, that is, it is compact and very, very strong. Next we have a fitting in the pipe for filling air, a fitting at the window level. Next we have a flanged pipe connection. Repeat several times. Next we have a device at the top of the entire structure, a stopper. Stopper with installed magnets. The shuttle is approaching. The valve sends the magnetic field. The valves open. The shuttle deflates and prepares to descend. The shuttle is moving at high speed. Therefore, the structure is reinforced with metal corners to absorb impact. There are also holes made through it for passing the adjusting line. A large flange closes this entire structure. The fishing line goes up through the holes on the tensioners, through a U-shaped bearing to the place where it is secured. A bolted platform rises above the entire structure. A self-winding reel is installed on the platform. It goes through this hole into the structure through the stopper, through this hole to the connector here. The shuttle lowers, rises, the reel winds and unwinds according to the principle of a vacuum cleaner. The generated energy is thus extracted from the shuttle. On this, in principle, the analysis of the design is completed. I also have a question. Our modules are connected to each other. How are they connected? How the shuttle structure is connected. It is connected using a rotary washer. These two large washers are put on the generators. And an air chamber is put on the generator set using a locking rotary washer. Naturally, it is taken into account that the holes are provided to guide the fishing line and internal wire when the washer is locked. That is, when the structure is completely assembled and the locks are closed, then you can let the fishing line through. We have the same thing below, on the tail section. It turns out that we have modules. They are based on the same principle, right? Everything is fixed, that is, each module has such a washer, right? Not everyone. It has an air chamber. This is the front part and this is the back part. Our central part is not on modules, so installing wires is not an option. It's going to hang on the wall here. We assembled the electrical part and screwed it all onto the wall, yes. Got it, I agree. Thank you, we'll wait then. Yes, see you later.